Update 12 on Typhoon Ramesson, which has uh, stayed with winds of 145 miles per hour and a pressure of 929 millibars as it moves over China. Its position is now 21.0 degrees north, 109.4 degrees east, which puts it in the very northernmost part of the Gulf of Tonkin, likely to make a third landfall in China uh, and its final one in the next few hours as of 8pm UTC on July the 18th. Still a Category 4 storm despite um, moving over Hainan Island and southern Guangdong province um, and of course it's the storms expect to make landfall again um, in China and then move over northern Vietnam as well. Uh, but still a Category 4 storm so that makes it a very powerful storm indeed. Winds of 145 miles per hour sustained. Higher gusts of course, possibly gusting to Category 5 intensity uh, but the storm is expected to weaken very quickly from here on in and dissipate inland. So a red typhoon warning is in effect for southern China. Signal 1 warning still in effect for Hong Kong and Macau, but most of the threat there is over. And typhoon warnings in effect also for northern Vietnam too. Um, and this is the area that we're looking at. The area around Beihai as well is probably the area where we're going to see the final landfall from this storm. Um, so we're going to see very strong winds along the coast there and indeed heavy rainfall as well as you're going to see on this radar imagery from China. You can see in the past 12 hours or so the storm moving over those areas of land and just emerging on the left side of that peninsula as well in those last few frames and now it's going to make its track towards the northwest towards its final landfall. Sea surface temperatures for what they're worth remain very warm, 30 to 32 degrees Celsius. But that's not going to be too much of a factor anymore for the storm because land interaction is going to ultimately kill it off in the next 48 hours. Uh, wind shear too is not as significant as it was anymore um, in terms of importance but also in terms of how much there is because it has backed off a little bit. So lower wind shear amounts at the moment in relation to the storm and that's likely to decrease even further um, until the storm dissipates inland. Uh, this is the current situation with water vapour. You can just about make out the eye of Ramerson and also the new storm, Matmo, which is to the east of the Philippines. More on that in Matmo's update in the next hour. Uh, but Ramerson making landfall and most of the um, heavy rainfall is to the south, to the west of um, Hainan over the Gulf of Tonkin right now. The CMC model um, looking more towards the upcoming storms more than anything. Um, Matmo in particular is rather interesting, developing into a significant typhoon and then abruptly turning left, making a landfall on Taiwan and then China with a possible storm or two forming behind that too. The GFS takes it close to the Philippines, making landfall halfway up Taiwan and then a final landfall in China as well. As far as Ramson is concerned, dissipation over Vietnam or southern China is most likely. The floater imagery shows um, the situation quite nicely. The eye is still intact by the looks of things on this latest imagery. You can see how it's moved over water now. And that's not going to uh, remain over water for much longer, um, likely to make its final landfall in China near the Vietnamese border in the next 12 hours, possibly less than that, maybe three to six hours by the looks of things, how it's going. Um, the eye wall towards the northwestern side is appears to be almost non-existent now though. Uh, towards the northeastern side it appears to be rather intense, at least that um, band around the eye wall there. Uh, there's rather intense rainfall going on there. And further south near the Hainan Island, on the western side of the island in particular, um, a big flare up around that area. Looking around the world, of course, we have Tropical Storm Wally in the uh, Central Pacific. Uh, could be a threat for Hawaii, but not much of one. And we have Invest 97S in the Southern Indian Ocean, Ramerson, of course, and uh, uh, Tropical Storm Matmo, which is likely to become a typhoon, and Invest 96W. So Ramerson was the 37th storm to form around the world. Obviously two more have formed since then. The 15th typhoon and the 10th category 3 storm with winds of 115 miles per hour and higher on the Sapphire Simpson hurricane wind scale. Um, and of course it's made landfall at that intensity. Uh, one of a few storms to do so so far this year. I don't think Neo Guri quite managed it but it did affect places without making a direct landfall 
at its peak intensity. Uh, you can visit any of Force 13's six outlets online. The website, force13.com, will keep you most up to date. Uh, and also the video pages, YouTube and Daily Motion, to search Force 13 on those. And the social pages too, Facebook and Twitter. Just search Force 13 on those mediums as well. It's at Force 13 on Twitter. If you'd like to see what's going on on there, there's usually media posted in between videos that you can um, share out as well if you so wish. Um, and you can also add Fool13 on Skype if you wish to speak to me personally for tropical weather chat, questions and discussion. Uh, the next update on this storm, if necessary, will follow either at 2am UTC or 2pm UTC tomorrow, July 19th. That's late morning or late evening local time.